Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1195. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a human resources table, name, employee date, last pay date. And guess what? We need to go from employee date exported from our database as text, year, month, day, into a serial number. Now, most of the time in a robust system, we have four digits for year and then month and day. But look at here, they only have two digits. And there's some of these, like this one right here. This is a 1997, and this is a 2008. Now, we can use text to columns, and I am going to show you that. But this person wanted a formula, so anytime there's stuff dumped here, it just automatically creates the date. Now, text to columns, if we were doing this a one-time deal, we could control shift down arrow to highlight the whole column. And notice, text to columns will work and understand that it's two digits for year, and then two digits for month, and then two digits for day. We simply go up to data, text to columns, next, next, and it's step three, where we can say re-import as a date. And please consider the date year, month, day. Now, I'm going to send this not to B2 and replace, but like over to I2. Click Finish, and instantly we get the proper dates. If we look down here, we could see our 1997 one. Now, just to show you that text to columns re-import with dates, Control Shift Down Arrow, I'm going to Alt A E. And this is N, so I'm going to Alt N N. And then this is D right here, that underline. So I Alt D Tab, arrow, arrow, arrow. And there it is, year, month, day. Now I want to change the destination to, say, right there, and then click Finish. Look at that. Text to columns is just amazing. But this person didn't want that. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to have to look at the first two digits from the left and then say, hey, are you less than the current year? Or are you greater than the current year? Or something like that to distinguish between 00, 0 to 15, the current year, or 16 all the way up to 99. So first, I'm going to use the left. And I'm going to say, hey, give me the left comma 2, close parentheses, control enter. Notice that is text. So there's our 97, and there's our 2. Top cell F2, and now I need to compare this. Now, why don't I do this little bit over here? I'm going to say equals today. And today is a volatile function that will always give you today's date. So when I get into next year, and it's 2016, it'll say whatever the date is, 2016. So then I need to say year. Please give me the year of that. Control Enter. Control Shift tilde to get rid of that date number formatting, or go up to Home, drop down in general. There's the year. But this is amazing, because next year, this will say 16. And then I need the right of that, comma 2, close parentheses. Now, anytime you use text functions like right, left, and mid, it spits out text. We can compare these directly. So I'm going to grab this, Control C, Escape, F2, and I'm going to say, are you the current year from over here? Are you greater than the current year 15? So this will get oh, a true for 16, 17, all the way up to 99. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. This is just the logical test, true or false, for our if that we're going to use. So there it's getting trues in the right places and falses in the right places. F2, now I can put this inside of the if. Now, anytime that comes out true, comma, the value if true is going to be 19. Otherwise, please put a 20, close parentheses. Control Enter to populate it all the way down. That's date number formatting, Control Shift, grave accent tilde. And you can see it's getting the 19s and the 20s in the right place. Now, I have a few choices now. And I'm actually going to do something rather uh, crazy here. I'm going to use the text function, because what I really need is I need the 20 and the 19, then those two right there, then those two right there, then those two right there. So I'm going to say 
ampersand, and then the text function. The value, now normally we go from a value to text, but check that out. That's text, but this will still work. Comma, in double quotes, we need to use custom number format, 00 00 00. -00, -00. In double quote, close parentheses. Now this little bit right here, F9 to evaluate it, oh, look at that. 2-07-01, so now when we join the 19 or the 20 from that, control Z, it'll give us our date. Well, control Enter, that's of course text. Double click and send it down. You can see down here, it looks like we're getting the right date as text. F2 to put in edit mode, and now I'm going to add 0. But guess what? If I add 0, you have to know your order of operations. Ampersand comes way at the end, so it's going to be adding it to that. And I need to add the 0 after this ampersand right there. So I'm going to put this in parentheses. Close parentheses, Control Enter. All the Control Enter to copy it all the way down. Those are serial numbers. Control 1, and I can go to date, and there's our date. Click OK. Now I'm going to delete this right here. We could actually do this a different way. I kind of like that way right there, but I'm going to highlight just the if part and the ampersand. Control C, escape equals Control V, and now I'm going to join that to the left of this right here, comma, two close parentheses. Now, right now, that just gives me the year. But actually, I forgot I'm going to put this inside the date function. So there's the year, comma, mid. And the text for mid is going to be, boop, that right there. Comma, the starting number is 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to give it a starting number of 3. Comma, I need to go two characters. So now mid will be extracting that middle part, which is a month. Boop, that right there. And by the way, the date function is so versatile, it'll understand even though that's spit out as text. Comma, and then the day is simply right of this. And then there's the number of characters. If I type a common number of characters, 2. I better drag this over here. 2, close parentheses. There's the day. Close parentheses. There's the date. Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. And we can see all the way down here, we're getting our 1997s and 1999s and our 15s here. So there's one way to do it. There's another way to do it, and text. if only we could do text to columns, because it's just a few clicks. All right, we'll see you next video.